My name is Theo Burnett, certified public accountant in the state of Georgia. I was born and raised in Yorktown, Clarendon, and attended Clarendon College, graduated in 1983, went to sixth form, and, became, and was the captain of the soccer team there. I migrated here in 1990 and attended college here on soccer scholarship and um, become a certified public accountant in 1994 with Ernst & Young, big four accounting firm. Then in 2000, okay, I decided to transition into my own firm. I feel this is my journey based on the roots of my mom and my dad, you know, who will always be selling in the market. You know, and it's, it's fun because my mom used to give all this stuff away and my dad my, my dad sells it, but my, my mom give it away. Being an, a, a CPA for the franchise for over 20 years, they always ask me, when you're gonna get your own? So I decided to silently scope up my locations that I want. And on one day, um, I was driving on, in Lawrenceville, and I, I saw the a Wendy's closed at nine o'clock. And I turned to my business partner at the time and I says, there's never Wendy's that closed at nine o'clock. And it's the perfect location that I wanted it. So I went back, make a U-turn and went there. And when I went there, I saw them pulling out stuff out of the restaurant. I called corporate immediately and says, this is my location. Tyler Perry is really my, my, my idol, to be honest with you, because of the humble beginnings and the, the things that he had to go through to get where he's at. But, you know, what I, what I draw on also is the fact that I know what I want. And I know that I wanted to be my own boss from an early age. From selling in the market, selling my Kalaloo, black pepper, meat, seasoned season salt and curry when I'm in the market. Now, my favorite show that also inspires me to go on this is Shark Tank. I don't miss Shark Tank on every Friday. And so I look at the do's, the don'ts, the bad, the good, and the ugly. And you know, Damien that's on there is also one of my idols because I see what he's doing. And I always started to tell my folks, especially in soccer field, we need, we need a Shark Tank in our Caribbean community. So it's my dream, it's another dream of mine. Will it, will, you know, so we, we gotta make those dreams in order to try and let them come through. Mentoring is, is one of the best things that we can do. I always draw on with my community. I give back a lot, to be honest with you, and I receive it back tenfold. You know, and it's always good to give and not with any expectation. Um, but I, I mentor a lot in my communities. I, I always get the guys together and, and, and ask them a lot of questions. And they always look to me as a certified public accountant. I, they always look to me for consultation and best business. Clarendon College is my alma mater. Um, that's, that's the school that grooms me to become who I am. We call it the school on the hill. And um, I've, I've gotten to where I'm at because of that school. And I've seen a lot of talent there over the last five years. It's been amazing what we have done there. We have keep the kids together, but a lot of them are underprivileged and needs opportunity like we have. So what we did, we, we set up a, a, a program there that we can give them opportunities, scholarships and all that. A few of them try to go pro, but they need mentoring as well. And, and, and for me, right now, we're trying to find a soccer field for them because they don't have, even have a home field to play it on. So we are doing a fundraising now as we go to try to get a soccer field for them. They, you know, so for me, it's, it's the mentoring with them and getting them opportunities to, to move forward. Future business-wise, I will go as far as I can when it comes to you know expanding the franchise as I, as I go. I always say I'm not gonna do another one, but to be honest with you, 
sky is the limit when it comes to the franchise. It's a great franchise. I love the franchise. It's a successful franchise. We just got to follow the rules and follow the regulations and follow the recipes and we'll do fine. Um, my aspiration out there is also to get mentoring and to get to get new new newcomers to the franchise. You know, because a lot of times they would call me because I've, I've, I've studied this franchise and I've digested this franchise deeply where I can tell you the ins and outs of it. You know, so the, the sky's the limit when it comes to where I want to take this. Favorite vacation spot, Montego Bay. I love Montego Bay because I can go to Negril and I can go to Ocho Rios. I'm in the dead center and I can have fun all over the island. One of the greatest one is to tour the entire island, all 14 parishes, you know, and, and don't know where you're going to stop the next hour. So that, that, that's the great, one of the greatest spots is, is to stay in Montego Bay. My go-to meal is the oxtail. Can't eat too much of it, you know. Then the jerk chicken, and but my brown stew snapper fish is amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, that one is great. But the oxtail is awesome. Well, this journey has been amazing. I this is my third franchise. Um, the first one is in Lawrenceville, Georgia. The second one is in Conyers, Georgia, and now Deerfield Beach. Great food, great customer service, and keep the restaurant clean. There's no way we cannot have success.